In a retail supply chain, manufacturers often sell their products to retailers who then sell the products to consumers. Generally, retailers are free to set the prices that they charge their customers. But in Legion Creative Leather Products versus PSKS Incorporated, we explore whether it violates antitrust law for a manufacturer to impose minimum resale prices. Legion Creative Leather Products manufactured women's fashion accessories under the brand name Brighton. Legion sought to promote Brighton as a high-end brand. To that end, Legion adopted a pricing policy whereby Legion refused to sell Brighton products to any retailers that would resell the products below certain minimum prices. Legion theorized that retailers making higher margins would have more capital to invest in providing a high-end customer experience. Legion subsequently became aware that one of its retailers, Kay's Closet, was selling Brighton products at discounted rates below Legion's minimum prices. When Kay's Closet refused to discontinue the discounting, Legion refused to sell the retailer any additional Brighton products. The owner of Kay's Closet, PSKS Incorporated, filed a federal antitrust action against Legion. PSKS alleged that under United States Supreme Court precedent, in Dr. Miles Medical Company v. John D. Park & Sons Company, Vertical minimum price restraints, such as those between Legion and its retailers, were per se violations of antitrust law. In response, Legion argued that such restraints shouldn't be per se antitrust violations because they sometimes have pro-competitive effects. The district court, acknowledging that it was bound by Dr. Miles, ruled in favor of PSKS. The Fifth Circuit affirmed, and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.